And as far as managing all that media, all of your Blackberries came with a disk that included Blackberry's desktop manager. Uh, who's had the opportunity to load that disk? A couple of you have. Great. Now, your desktop manager may look a little different depending on which Blackberry you happen to pick up. It could either look like this or it could happen to look like this. Either one's perfectly okay. They all have the same functionality to them. Just a little bit different look either way. Question? Yes. On the desktop manager, is there um, some way that when you when you pick up the computer that that doesn't automatically come up with it, but instead, like if I wanted to sync my phone, that oh. I could just open it because when it opens automatically, it really slows down the computer. Absolutely. Uh, see me specifically uh, okay. when we're done because I have it pre-installed on here, right. set up in that exact way, and I'll show you how. Great. Thank you. You're very welcome. And when you install it again, you can have two different looks. This just so happens to be the look that's online. And what's great about the BlackBerry Desktop Manager is that it's going to have all of these features built into it. So you've got a media manager that's in here to help you better sort pictures and videos and music that you put on the device. You've got a synchronize option. If you happen to be using Microsoft Outlook or anything along those lines, you can sync this directly with your Outlook and have all of your contact information on the BlackBerry. And while you're out on the go, if you happen to get a new contact, you can sync it and have it show up in your Outlook. Backup and Restore. Backup and Restore is a great option, especially the more familiar you become with your BlackBerry. I highly recommend that you install Desktop Manager and at least once do a backup and restore once you get your information in there. Backup and restore saves a file on your desktop that includes all of your BlackBerry information. And in the event you ever need to, you get a new device or something accidentally gets erased off of your device, any kind of scenario like that, you have the ability to put all of your stuff back on there without worry. So a great option to have as a just-in-case. <laughs> Application loader. Blackberries are, are very, very versatile devices. You can get more stuff on them than just what comes with it. This is a very easy way to put stuff that you've downloaded specifically for your phone into it. And then finally, the switch device wizard. If you've recently upgraded your Blackberry to one of these newer models, or a couple of years down the road when you decide to get a new one, the switch device wizard takes just a few moments and literally moves all of your settings, all of your stored information, everything from your old BlackBerry to your new one. Now, SysIBell also offers an additional BlackBerry class, uh, our, our BlackBerry Media and Entertainment course. If you would like a little bit more information about some of these topics, specifically the Media Manager, something we delve very in-depth to in that course. Or if you would like any more information right here and now, uh, please see me right afterwards, and we'll be more than happy to, to go over that one. Yes? Is there a certain format or something you have to do to, I can't get any, I've loaded videos and stuff, and they never play. They specifically have to be in MPEG-4 okay. format. Do you know so what I format you try to use my desktop manager and get through the options that loaded onto the thing that way. What, what's really nice about the media manager is that when you select a file, there's an option there to optimize the format specifically for BlackBerry when you transfer it, and that'll convert it to make sure that it works appropriately. Because sometimes the drag and drop option from your computer to the memory card doesn't work out as well. Uh, yes, in that same vein, when I do a backup log, will I will, will anybody be able to go in there and find what's in my little safe, the codes and all that, or would they have to open that up and have that same password? Excellent question. For when it comes to the uh, the password keeper and things like that, if you were to pull that off there, you still need the password to gain all that access to information. Absolutely. Anything else? Yes, on, on the sync, when you do the email, it, it, does that interfere once you bring that in with any of your phone contact <coughs> information, or are those stored completely separate? Those are all stored completely separate. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely.